What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective C Tutorials, Lesson 15, Intro to Objects. And the last lesson we were talking about classes, but this lesson we'll be mainly talking about objects. But the class definition is a template for an object because it declares instance variables that become part of each object. And it also declares the methods, the functionality that all objects of the class can use. And so the class represents an object's type. So the class is like the type, like an integer, and the object is the variable. You can think of it that way. Another analogy, um, which I really like, a uh, guy at Stanford used. Uh, he said, the class is the blueprint, and the object is the house. And I really, really like that analogy that really helps uh, you be able to wrap your mind around this whole class and object thing. Now the basics of creating an object. We actually won't be going over how to create an object in the slide, it's just kind of what happens when you create an object. Now up there above you see a budget, vacation budget Europe, and budget, vacation budget England. Um, you remember when we did that whole thing with the structures and the type def when we made that type and everything and then we were, uh, were declaring uh, variable types from that type that we created. Now that is basically what we'll be doing with objects. We'll be creating a class, so kind of like a type, and there you see budget, that's the type or class that we created, and then we'll be creating objects from that. Now when you create an object, it's like declaring a struct variable. It creates its own spot in memory with its own set of IVARs, instance variables. And each object of a class has its own IVARs, but share a single set of methods. Now a little bit more on objects. Uh, the functionality of an object is a method, and the data they affect are the IVARs. Now, I said this in the last lesson, basically this uh, definition, but it's a little bit different now. Uh, object is a programming unit that bundles IVARs that's kind of like the data structures, what used to be the data structures, with methods and what used to be functions. And a message, well, what is it? A message is something you send an object to ask it to do something for you. And when an object receives a message, it then runs the code in the appropriate method. Now encapsulation, a very, 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 very basic definition is hiding instance variables behind an object's wall. Encapsulation solves the problem of the widespread impact that changing a data structure could cause because everything spread all out throughout the code. Now the methods bundled with an object are the only methods can, that can operate on the data, the IVARs of the object. Objects can, however, make their data available to other objects by its method. So you can make that data available to other objects, but the only uh, methods that can actually operate on those IVARs, that data of the object, is the methods in the own object. So that's kind of a little basic uh, definition or overview of encapsulation. Now, even though it just looks like we're just changing the terminology function to methods, struct members to instance variables, function calls to messages. It really is a whole different approach than before. Now one last thing. There are two parts of an Objective-C class. The first one is the interface and that is .h. It's the header file. That's um, how you can remember, remember uh, .h and it declares it names the superclass, we'll learn about that later, and declares the methods and instant vi instance variables of the class. Now there's the second one, implementation, dot m, and you can remember this as implementation, kind of that m, -M sound, and it defines, it implements the class's methods. Now these are usually, like always, split into two separate files. But to start off, though, we will have them in the same file, and then we'll split them up in a few lessons. So the next next lesson, we will be starting uh, coding 
in object oriented programming but these last two lessons were just very basic kind of getting your feet in the water with objects and classes so again we won't be going into xcode so this is a very rare thing that we haven't been going into xcodes for two lessons but like i said just getting the basics down and then we'll be uh, on the road but don't get discouraged if this is kind of weird sounding to you if it's a little hard I had a real hard time when I first started with uh, objects and classes and everything so it is this is uh, getting into more harder subjects with programming but uh, thanks for all the support thanks for watching please subscribe like this video check out any other videos that you haven't comment below and thanks again